Earlier today, members of the Ferris State football team contacted us here at Wood TV 8 saying they were frustrated by rumors and wanted to tell the real story behind the suspension of their head coach, Tony Anise. Casey Jones then made the trip up to Big Rapids to meet with the players' representative this afternoon. And Casey joins us once again in studio tonight with what the players say is the real story. Yeah, Larry, the players coming to Coach Anise's defense today, like you said, trying to put an end to all of that. Now, we spoke with one of the players, and although it was just one of them, he said he echoes the message of the entire team. Tony Anise is taking more heat than they think he deserves. The drama from Ferris State football in a 30-27 comeback win against Michigan Tech didn't happen on the football field. According to team leader Sam Parker, it came from Coach Anise at halftime in the locker room. I saw the whole thing, and you know, I've talked with enough guys, and this is exactly what's happened, that he came in and hit a player on the shoulder. He didn't even strike him in the, the stomach or face or anywhere else, just in the shoulder pads. That motivation tactic is what the players tell us earned Coach Anise his eight-day suspension handed down by the university. His team, though, says there's no hard feelings towards him. No one was hurt. It doesn't make any sense that they had to play without him. He didn't do it out of anger. He, he's not that kind of guy. And to see, you know, rumors about everything that's going on, it's ridiculous. Did he cross a line? No, not a, if, if that's crossing the line, then what I've seen here, what everybody's seen is, is far worse. And this stuff happens at every program. Every, every player who's ever played football has seen that. Parker says the shoulder hits from coach were about as hard as you might hit an old TV to get it to work again. He and the team now hope they can get back to work when their head coach rejoins them. He's our coach and everyone stands by him, you know. There's no way to, to, um, to play for somebody that you don't respect and love or whatever, because if you don't, then you're not going to be here. You're, you're not on the team. Anise returns to the sidelines Friday, a day before the Bulldogs close out the regular season against Northern Michigan. That game up in Big Rapids.